I think um, China is, is bringing out the big guns. China is, is not going to be bullied by the United States. Um, we're unfortunately entering a, a new chapter here, which is not good. Um, by breaking the seven renminbi to the dollar, the dam has been breached. And who knows how far it's going to go, That's how far China is going to allow their currency to weaken now. Seven's been there for a long time. There's a phrase in Chinese, it's called po chi, that means crack seven. Hmm. So seven's just been cracked. And who knows how far it's going to be. Uh, the devaluation is going to continue. This is, this is, this is big. It's very it's, 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 it's concerning and it's discouraging. Do you think it's possible, as some have speculated, that China is suffering currency outflows, maybe related to Hong Kong, and it's using the U.S. as a scapegoat here? In other words, does its weakness tell us, uh, weakness tell us about it fighting the U.S. or about it being in a very vulnerable position right now? I think, frankly, China is more confident now than it was several years ago when the when the RMB, um uh, it was devalued after uh, several years ago, China, the markets were very unsteady because there's some thought that China was not as much control of its um, financial system as, as it should have been. But now China is more confident. Uh, China has capital controls that are much tighter now than they were back then. Uh, China's learned a lot. Uh, they're, 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 they may not be perfect. Nobody's perfect, but they're good. So it's, it's, they're using currency now as another weapon in the trade war, and it's showing, frankly, that the, the trade wars cannot be won. We may impose another 10 percent tariff on Chinese imports in the right. U.S., then China's going to retaliate. They're going to you know, weaken the currency. It's just, the key here, frankly, is for us to get more stability, more predictability, and the way to do that, frankly, is to be a little more patient. When I was ambassador in China, I learned after about a year that Here's how you deal with the Chinese. It's kind of corny, but I came up with what I call my three P's. You've got to be patient, you've got to be positive, and you got to be persistent. You've got to stick with it. Issues with respect to China, be positive, not negative, over and over again, be patient. And after a while, you prevail. Patient, positive, and persistent. That's the way to deal with China on trade. Well, that might be the Max Baucus way, but given that it's this administration in charge now, what do you think are the likely ways the U.S. might respond? Um, what else could China do here if you say they're doing this from a position of, of strength and they've learned quite a lot? Well, I'm, unfortunately, Americans tend to be a bit impatient compared with, um, with the Chinese. And, and add to that, um, our president is even more impatient than the average American. I worry he's going to be angry with the, the evaluation and he's going to retaliate in some way himself, maybe up the percentage tariff. It's, it's, it's very, very dangerous. We're just, this is, this is a, a accelerating the, the, the gulf, the chasm between our two countries. And it's, you know, we need adults, frankly, in, on both sides of the Pacific. Uh, they can stop this nonsense. Um, it, it, let cooler heads prevail. Swallow a bit of pride. Let's because most people don't want a trade war. Most people want to, frankly, trade and invest. Now there are other ways to deal with China's unfairness, but this is not the way to do it. China has also responded by saying it's going to suspend purchases of ag products. You know, it's unclear yet what the significance of that might be. But do you think they're going to resort to other measures, of which a lot of them are not monetary uh, directly? They could boycott U.S. goods and so forth. True. And um, I hope the report that China is defending uh, agriculture purchases is not accurate, but it may be accurate. And you're right, they can uh, uh, bar U.S. exports going into China. It's all, the point here is President Xi and China have many, many more tools at their disposal than President Trump does. Hmm. It's just, it, it's, there's a gulf here. And I think too few Americans understand that, and President Trump has, has not yet to understand that. And once he does... Then I hope he calms down a little bit here. Okay, let's start talking. You know, it's really a slap in the face for President Trump to enact those tariffs just after the Shanghai talks. Mm -hmm. You know, they were, they, were, they were talking over there, but now he puts the tariff on after the Shanghai talks. And, and China thinks, well, what the, Trump's dealing in bad faith. You know, so we're going to slap this the currency devaluation on him. All right. Ambassador, Senator, it's great to get your perspective today. Thank you so much. You bet. Max Baucus joining you. me.